Is unconscious bias unscientific? In my opinion, bias has to be conscious. A conscious discernment creates a pattern. We recall and recognize that a consciously built pattern of biases from our subconscious. How can bias be unconscious? How can bias... Okay, this confuses me. I, me, me too. My feeling is um, the most persistent bias will be unconscious. Yes, and in fact, you know, the, what we don't say is mm -hmm. that most biases are accurate and serve you, right? Mm. And the point is when we say bias, we are invoking it for a category that is understood to be negative. But basically, you your conscious experience of the world is built on heuristics. Like I'm biased towards not going outside in current conditions without a raincoat or an umbrella. Yeah, or more fundamentally, I am biased towards paying attention to the edges of objects and not their middles, right? And the point is... When, walk when navigating a space. Right. As you're walking mm -hmm. around, knowing where the edges are allows yeah. you to navigate quickly and effectively, whereas, you know, mulling over the surface detail wouldn't. And so, anyway, mm -hmm. you are nothing but biases. And those mm -hmm. biases are nothing but good for you except in very rare circumstances, which is why there is such fascination with things like... And exactly most of those biases don't come to consciousness. They just exist and you navigate based on right. them. Right. They don't come to consciousness because they work so goddamn well. Right. And, you know, it's the occasional optical illusion that reveals that you are wired in this way. Something that pivots just between two interpretations so your mind flips back and forth reveals that you're a heuristic machine. But right. anyway, so the point is, okay, you're a heuristic machine, and then you find that certain biases, you know, stereotypes, for example, are disallowed. The penalty for them goes up. Mm -hmm. um, they may be inaccurate, or they may be accurate. Mm -hmm. And the problem is... How do you convince a heuristic machine to give up a given heuristic? And sometimes that must be the case. But I think the point is this is so much the exception. Mm -hmm. The rule is heuristics, which are biases. And that means most of them are unconscious. And then you can promote one to consciousness. Like, for example, if there's a particular set of heuristics that obscures something that you now need to focus on, right? If you started studying... Um, why am I forgetting the name of the um, leaf-tailed gecko? Europlatus. Europlatus, right? Europlatus is a lizard that sticks to the surfaces of tree trunks in such a way that it's almost impossible to see. And if you look it up on the internet, you will see pictures and you'll think that's impressive, but it's nothing. The camera actually reveals these things, whereas yeah. the eye misses them routinely. Gorgeous. Malagasy gecko, known in the pet trade. So if people are pet yeah. trade people, they'll know Europlatus. But the point is you can learn to find them. Mm -hmm. But in general, you learn to find them by taking the thing which you profit from every time you walk by a tree and don't focus on the details of its bark, right? Mm -hmm. That th you can start focusing on the details of its bark and you can look for these animals. And if you started studying them, it would be like, oh, I've got to find those things everywhere they are. So now I'm going to focus on exactly the thing that I've been productively ignoring for my yeah. entire life, <laughs> right? So you can promote a bias to consciousness if you need to. And that's very often what we do. But let's not mistake bias for those things that we promote to consciousness because they are negative in some way, right? Bias is how the system works.